Hello everyone. For today's video, we are down uh, Whitewater Falls Road, or off of Whitewater Falls Road at the uh, Foothills Trails access. And we're gonna try to get to the base of Lower Whitewater Falls and hopefully see the wreckage from the small airplane crash. It crashed there in the 70s. So from here, what you're gonna need to do is get on Muster Ground Road, which kind of runs parallel to this parking lot. And we're gonna head down the road for a little piece. And one very little research I read online, there's a, a pass that'll take you down a very steep uh, little trail. It'll come out down towards, uh, going towards the base of the falls. So we're gonna get started and head that way. On our way down the road now. Just wanted to mention real quick, you can drive down this road. It uh, has stated online and other places that Duke Energy does not want you parking anywhere on the road, except for the designated parking areas. Keep that in mind. Also, so you're not wondering, why don't you just drive down the road? the water. All right, so we think we've gotten to where the path to go down may start. Not entirely sure. It's either the path or it's a washout spot for when there's a hard rain. If you go right where this fence and the curb starts, You look down right here. Down to there. Very steep. Down the hill. All right, we've got down to where I can see very faintly through here. Right there in the center of the screen, you can start to see it. So we're going to continue on straight down through here. We may break out the rope. Just depends. Almost there. Okay. All right, got the rope tied off. I'm gonna go head down. All right, we got down here to a foam piece. Maybe insulation or part of a seat from the plane. We are very far down. Steep section, and you can see the falls over there. And then the first section. Or maybe the only section, I'm not sure. I think it is in a couple different pieces. It's right there in front of us. Almost there. All right, so we have made it down here to the plane. You can see the whole plane itself and then the wing comes off here, right beside of it. And I don't think that the other one is still attached get over there in just a second and see this is it it's very steep getting down here uh, I have a hundred foot rope and I decided to get as far as I could and then tie it off whenever I started to feel a little uncomfortable so that's what I did and it was just the amount because I may have 15 foot left 
So maybe you get to the where the end of the plane is. But if you come, bring a hundred foot rope. And I seriously would not attempt this without one. Don't matter how what your skill level is either. I just would not attempt it without one. It's not smart, not safe. Leaves are covering everything. And this is a pretty dry day too. So we're gonna get some different shots and then eventually head back up. All right, so this is kind of a side angle of the shot. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna to try to make it to the other side or not because the footing through here is just really not good. I'm kind of holding on to the end of my rope right now. And, uh, so the only details that I found online about this is the plane crash happened in 1972 and it hit somewhere right around here where it's at. Possibly on this rock right here somewhere. Come down in between the trees and just landed there. Not really sure where the destination was or where they uh, took off from, but there uh, there were four passengers in the plane and they all died. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any kind of rescue attempt or anything. If you have any information or know of any news articles or anything on it, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and maybe a link for that. Or if you just know anything, maybe just drop a comment and let us uh, fill us in on what you know. But uh, this this was definitely a, a difficult one to get to. I'm not sure if I would, not even sure if I'd recommend you do it. I mean, if chasing planes or just odd things is something you do, you know, maybe it's not not that bad for you in your head, maybe. But this is the third plane that I've seen. Uh, there's one that's uh, both both of the other ones are in North Carolina that I've seen. One's at Water Rock Knob, it's up near Maggie Valley, and the other one is. Uh, and Grandfather Mountain State Park, up pretty close to where the uh, tallest peak in the park is. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna put a card up where you can click on those to watch either of those videos if you'd like. So real quick, I hopped over to the other side and my rope was able to swim me around. If you look down the hill here, you can see another piece through the trees. I'm not sure if that's the other wing or if that's, it may be a part of the, part of the cockpit here that's not showing on the plane it's also interesting how how it's wedged up against this tree right here the tree is just like in between there and then the uh the front of the plane here is just peeled back on this corner uh some of the other ones or one of the other ones has has some uh vandalism and graffiti and things on it but this one is it's so hard to get to i don't think I don't think that's gonna happen. Or at least it hadn't happened to this point. All right, so we made it back to the top. Got rested up for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and give a few closing thoughts and in the video here. Uh, overall, I'm glad I did it. I will say, if you don't have experience doing uh, bushwhacks or using a rope on a uh, steep descent, this may be one that you need to choose to sit out. Um, the last 50 to 75 feet of that were very steep. And coming back up is always easier than going down but it was very exhausting getting back up the the whole incline and overall i would i would recommend it if this is the kind of thing that you're into or you do have previous experience with and using the proper foot placement and using ropes which is almost a must have here like i said before i used a hundred foot rope it had, I think, a 450-pound rating on it. Um, you can probably pick those up. At, mine was just given to me by someone, but you can get them at, I think Lowe's has a pretty good selection. I'm not sure if Walmart does or not. Or you can order you one on Amazon. Just make sure you get one with a good load rating. But, uh, I, think, I think that's all I got to say about it, really. 
Um, I hope this video helps anyone that decides to venture out here and is having trouble finding information about it online because there are a few things, but it's all just text and explanations. To me, it just makes more sense if you can kind of see, see it to give a better perspective. I guess I'm just more of a visual learner, but I hope it helps. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And as always, thanks for watching.